California, and man, he's ready to do it. <laughs> Producer Roger Corman. In the aftermath of World War III, it's a dangerous time to be young. Our life is at stake here. An impossible time to be in love. Don't leave me. Just leave me. If they catch us, you're going to go home, and I'm going to go to your father's jail. Trust me. Challenged by a man of power. Where is she? It's too late. I'll find your daughter. Good. Hunted by a man of cruelty. Where is he? He saw me. The only way to save their love is to risk his life. I love you, but I'm scared. At the end of the road lies the beginning of vengeance. It's a hellish chase through a world gone mad. In this fast-paced action adventure from Roger Corman, The Lawless Land. And to drive your profits over the edge, we're offering this stunning The Lawless Land poster for display. And that's not all. Out of a wasteland. Ruled by fear and death. Appears a young sorceress with undiscovered strength. Girl, no woman can travel the world without a man to defend her. Her only family brutally murdered by a ruthless warlord. Kill! Kill! Now, in her thirst for justice, she joins forces with a renegade army of Amazons, where the sisterhood confronts savage warriors of an ancient order. Until they are forced to unveil the supreme power of the sisterhood. Imagine a future world of total lawlessness. Where only the quickest and the deadliest survive. A world where the one place you can survive is a safe haven. The penal code of safe haven 186 clearly states 
The assault of a law enforcement officer shall be punishable by death. The only problem is, you may not leave alive. Ain't you a pretty little thing? Let go of her! He is the only one who can help them escape Inferno in Safe Haven. To survive, they must escape Inferno in Safe Haven. destroyed by the Black Plague. Six centuries later, a new virus annihilated half the world's population. After the epidemic, major corporations reclaimed the earth and divided nations into plague zones. The healthy were allowed to live freely. The diseased were imprisoned in these zones. By 1997, a third group of survivors emerged, called Zero Men. Infected with a non-contagious yet fatal strain of the plague, the Zero Men had one to two years left to live. With knowledge of their impending death, their behavior was sometimes erratic.
Good evening, I'm Mario Machado. I'm Mary Ingersoll. And topping tonight's headlines, another round of riots in the plague zone. Military authorities this afternoon reimposed a curfew and deployed hundreds of troops throughout the border area of the eastern plague zone in an attempt to restore order and quell the violence that has left at least 12 people dead and more than 150 injured. Mary? Hundreds of disease demonstrators hurled rocks, bottles, and even prosthetic body parts at the besieged United's peacekeeping forces in continued protest against the recently announced recall of defective euthanasia kits. Faulty toxin processing rendered nearly 20,000 of the popular do-it-yourself suicide kits virtually harmless. But good news, officials are now saying that replacement kits are being rushed into production and that suicide privileges should be restored within the next 24 hours. Mario? That is good news. And still to come, more on that historic first sex change pregnancy in the San Francisco Bay Area. Out of the car at that construction place or whatever it was. As I explained to you before, these people are contagious. You came into contact with one of them. Yes, yes, I turned into a mutant or something. So what's the big deal? I don't see anything. Well, it's not what you can see that'll kill you, believe me. It's what you can't see. Anyway, it's perfect for building. Building? Who cares about building? Oh, I want to see the plague people, Daddy. These people are in the last stages of the disease. It's not pretty. When are you going to stop treating me like a child? I'm 20 years old. I think I can handle it. God, I don't even know why I came. I'm not going to get to see anything. Layla, here's your chance. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, what up? Let's hurry it up, boys. Come on, let's hurry it up. Hey, Gordon. Check the zero man on death row. Now, he's a walking dead man. Yeah, he's a psycho sick, and I don't want him near me. Hey, you! Shut up. Come on, let's move it.
zone. I warned you. I didn't think it would be that bad. At least with this new housing project, they'll have a place to live. You mean a place to die? That one looks like a prison. It's a housing complex, one of our best. Believe me, they'll be happy to live in it. Uh -huh. This will be home to a lot of people. I don't see why you have to jam them all together. It's called crowd control. A necessary part of the United's plague strategy, which means... Which means you cram them all together and work them to death. Uh, honey, that's not the way we like to put it. Shit, man, you ain't taking us in there. Turn back, Decker. You want to get us contaminated? I'm already contaminated, dipshit. You're crazy, man. Nobody goes in the plague zone, not even the police. driving hijacked prison van headed southeast on route 93 into zone two centuries killed correction a one killed one wounded yeah i must be losing my touch zero man escapee identified as decker all suspects are armed and dangerous a code seven niner has been issued 
Seven Niner. What's that? Terminate. Only got another year to go. Now they gonna send me to hell. Fuck, man. What else can go wrong? We're out of gas. Where, Jazz? There's someone in the road, sir. It's getting late. Just go around him. Well, I, I'd like to, but there's no room for the car. Well? Well, what? Go move that thing out of the way. Sir, he could be contaminated. I, I, I really would. Go give him a hand, Dad. Christ. I have to do everything myself. Thank you. 
Tracking him. Hey, you gotta go after him. They took his daughter. Sorry, pal. The plague zone's off limits. What are you talking about? I just told you these guys. Look, this is as far as we go. Hey, these guys, they've murdered two people here. They've kidnapped his daughter. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? This girl means something to you? You're telling me you're not gonna be able to go after Sorry, them. pal. You're gonna need someone special if you want it back. Special. Special or crazy. Talks at Unitrans, the Department of Transportation, broke off this morning after three days of negotiations failed to produce an agreement. The controversial new proposal under debate calls for a zone-wide speed limit of 110 miles per hour in order to curb increased freeway fatalities. Mario? Traffic officials estimate that after 15 years of deregulation, accidents resulting in death now occur once every four seconds. And as the bodies pile up, Unitrans spokesmen say that talk should resume next week. Meanwhile, commuter traffic was severely snarled in all directions while medical crews continue their around-the-clock cleanup activities. It's getting harder and harder to drive to work these days, isn't it? Absolutely true. Up ahead, an exclusive newsmaker profile on ex-Hitler youth Klaus von Heydrich, now head scientist for the plague research effort, and a report on official denial of the latest rumors of an imminent cure. Mario? I mean, why don't we take a trip somewhere and spend what little time we have left together? We could go to Hawaii or whatever's left of it. What about Switzerland? I hear there's a new treatment. Come on, John, would you just please listen to me? someone to do a job. What kind of job? I need some help to find someone, a girl. So? Talk to the cops. I tried. They won't go into the plague zone. Well, that's where they took her into the plague zone. They kidnapped her. I need some help here. You know who did it? Yeah, 
A zero man, a guy named Decker. Decker? And the plague song? We'll do crazy things, but that's pushing it. You know it? He used to hang out here. He never liked anybody. Look, buddy. Decker is completely insane. Nobody wants to mess with her. Wait a minute. There's a guy over there. He's nuts. He'd probably like this sort of thing. The more dangerous, the better. Where? Over there. What, that guy? Yeah, Luger. Like the gun. just like them, and no one will care. Uh, excuse me. I was told that you might be interested in a job. Uh, my name is Charles Hyland. Chaz. Most, most people just call me Chaz. I, I work for... Well, I... I used to work for Mr. Sean of Unitas. Uh, what is this? Time bomb. Oh. Well, you would be paid handsomely for your service. I don't need your goddamn money. Can't take it with you, you know what I mean? Would you listen to the band for God's sakes? Don't be such a loser. Seat's open. Sit. I'll tell you what. You hold this for, uh, say, 45 seconds, and I'll consider your offer. This isn't activated, is it? Uh-huh. Wait a minute. We don't have a minute. Oh. So what can I do for you? Uh, we were, we were in the plague zone. Uh, they killed Mr. Sean. His daughter. They abducted her. How are we doing on this? What do you need from me? To get the girl from Decker. Decker. Yeah. How are we doing? He's a zero man. So is this girl real important to you? I've never been to the plague zone. That sounds interesting. Oh, Jesus! Don't worry. It's not our table. Relax, and you get to live. I swear to you, you stay away from me. I'll cut you. 
Please stay away from me. Let go! Welcome to the plague zone. This is a wasteland. No, not quite. All right, now we are here. And Decker with a one day advance on us should be right here. Listen, this is your last chance if you want to just turn No, no, no. You sure? Absolutely. I think it'd be safe if you uh, loosened your tie now. Chaz, are you ready? Now, who are you going to shoot with those, huh? I happen to need these. I was very sick once. 
have a fully recovered. What'd you have, the plague? Say Decker's been here. Touching it for let's get the hell out of here. Hey, let's just not touch it. Let's go. Decker's idea of a joke. Come on.
Yes? Is there something I can do for you? Yeah. This is no concern of yours. Get back to work. Uh, we were looking for somebody, and we uh, thought maybe he passed through here. Sir, this is a body counting service and supply depot. Statistics and canned goods are our specialties. Tracking individuals through the plague zone is not my mistake. We, uh, we have a photo. Ugly looking fellow. Is there a reward? $10,000. Anybody who can apprehend him, dead or alive. $10,000? <laughs> Buys you a lot of canned goods, doesn't it? No, I haven't seen him. Right. Well, look, uh, we're going to go over on the other side of the hill, camp for the night. We'll check with you in the morning, all right? Exactly what do you do with these bodies, mister? We count them. <laughs> right. Oh, no. We keep that. Thanks. Get back to work. Eighteen. Nineteen. And scandal continues to plague the much-publicized California gubernatorial race as incumbent Republican candidate and television evangelist Pat Matlock was forced to step down from his position as head of the worldwide church. Unitas News has learned that the allegations of sexual misconduct involve a tryst at the Paradise Motel in Tijuana. But despite witness accounts of screams and animal-like noises coming from the motel room where he was registered under an alias, Governor Matlock continues to insist that he was merely working on sensitive border problems and trying to improve international relations. Mario. Meanwhile, Governor Matlock remains secluded at the executive mansion for several weeks of prayer and fasting in preparation for the grueling final weeks of the campaign. Amen. Amen indeed. Election controversy, however, does continue, this time involving presidential hopeful Charles Stevenson. Following what is being called the worst outbreak of plague in a decade, Stevenson was permanently removed from the ballot after health police traced the mini-epidemic to Stevenson campaign headquarters. Authorities are blaming such old-fashioned campaign practices as handshaking and baby kissing for the sudden new spread of the disease. Stevenson and most of his staff will remain in quarantine until well after the November election. So it looks like the president's got that fifth term locked up after all, doesn't it, Mario? Well, he certainly does, but... You can never predict in politics. It's true. There's something I don't get. And what's that? Why you're doing this. Time. What do you mean? <laughs> Forget it. Well, at least I know why I'm here. Really? Yes. Really? I care for Layla. Yes, here we're dead empty. Can you help with that thing? No problem. Do it. I haven't seen one of these hand peaks in a while. So that fella says to me, what do you do with these things? I told him, we count them. <laughs> what else would you do with them? Shit, man, this place stinks. Sir, can I help you? Take anything you want. It's a good choice. Very rare in these parts. I have three bottles left. 
Can I help you with something in particular? Just browsing. I see. Then, uh, what can I interest you in? You. Nice work. You got me now. Long time, Decker. Too long. You gonna do me or what? Yeah. In a minute. Where's the girl? You're doing this for the skank? Luger, you're losing your edge. Where's the girl, asshole? mistake. Company, huh? Get the shovels. Don't move. Luger. Luger. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Die out here in the middle of nowhere. Chaz, just let go. <laughs> just let it go. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Are you 
still with me? Huh? That's it. Can you hear it? What? That's it. Oh, Luger, you're losing it. Oh, gosh. What is that? Oh, no. They're coming back. They're coming back. You're going to finish this. Oh. Look. Hey, hey! Over here! Hi! Man. Good afternoon. Looks like somebody got to jump on you. I heard tell there are some desperate fugitives in the area. Looks like you boys are untangled with the wrong party. Have you got a shovel? Yeah. Well, could you get it? We call it home. I'll check the oil pan. Pookie? Pookie! Where's that dang sister of mine? Dinner ready yet, Pookie? Something special tonight. Stewed mole. How do you like your mole cook, mister? Oh. They're peace-loving people. Just came out here to die in peace. I don't see why you want to go chasing some criminal around. Why don't you just wait and die? <laughs> I'm beginning to ask myself the same question. You gotta understand, this guy kidnapped a girl. Ain't gonna be easy without a vehicle. Look, all, all we're asking for is some oil and a gun. Well, I can't give you something for nothing, can I? I wouldn't be right. Well, mister, all I got left is uh, a cigarette lighter and a gold ring. I ain't got no call for rings. I did it one time, but not these days. Besides, Pookie's already got herself a pretty ring, ain't you, Pookie? This tastes just like chicken. What do you got? Oh, me? <laughs> My shoes. But I need those. My wallet. But that's empty. What's them? Oh, uh, like pills. I mean, vitamins. Plague pills? You haven't heard of plague pills? Oh. <laughs> well, how long you been out here? These things are guaranteed to work. Take away the pain, put you on the road to recovery. Luger. Well, but you've got some oil in the truck. Maybe I could spare. Oil? Now, mister, we're talking the difference between you living and dying. All right. All right, I got an old doozy. I'll throw that in, too. Wait a minute. Give me the pills. No. Oh. Give me the pills. No, these are my pills. Listen to me, you little weasel. Now, you broke my car trying to run out on me. Now, you owe me. Give me the oh, God nuts. damn pills. Thank you. You know, these, uh, these pills are worth a hell of a lot more than a couple of cans of oil and an old doozy. Well, I reckon so. Listen, I, uh, I owe my friend there a pretty big favor. I was thinking, uh, I don't know, I'd give him something kind of special. How about throwing in that pretty little sister of yours with this? Be glad to. She can't cook worth a damn anyway. Chad.
a great deal, huh? Well, I tell you the truth, I think the two of you make a real fine couple. Do you know what you've done? What? To me, to me, do you know what you've done? Screw your pills. Hey, man. they're my pills, and I want them. I want them back. I'm a dead man without them. Well, join the goddamn club. getting tomaine poisoning and we don't even know it. Jesus, you are the most ungrateful, miserable bastard I've ever met in my life. Ungrateful? No. Miserable? Absolutely. All right. Uh, I'm out of here. Where are you going? To sleep. Luker, I thought we were going to shoot the breeze. We shot it. This night, no. Sure. Look, Pookie, there's something I have to tell you. There's something that you have to understand. This just isn't going to work out. Yes. No. I care about someone else. Well, I'm your girl now. No. You know, like Pookie. Sure. Rise and shine. We got a lot of miles to cover. Come on, wake her up. Oh, Jesus. Is she gone? Better off this way. I don't know. Well, the only two places left Decker could go, and that was one of them. What's the other? <laughs> There's this place called Cafe Death. Cafe Death? What's it like? Well, I heard that it makes Club Zero look like Disneyland. This has gone too far, Snake. We gotta get out while we still can. What about Decker? What about him? You've seen him in action, he's crazy. Yeah, but, uh... Look, we ain't like him. I steal from my old lady, but I'm no murderer. He's a zero man, he could do anything he wants. Kill anyone he wants. Even us. Yeah, and he got another zero man after I asked us, too. That's right, Father. If he don't want to get caught in a crossfire, we leave tonight. I don't know, man, it's pretty weird out there. I'd rather take my chances out there than stay with this nut any longer.
planning a trip, eh, pal? No, man, we just talking shit, nothing serious. I swear. What are you doing? You wanted to kill me. Me? Hey, man, I didn't want to. Here's your chance. I can't. Do it. Please, mother. I... Sorry, man, I, I just want to get out of here, that's all. Just pull the trigger. I don't want to kill nobody. Pull it, snake. Oh, too bad. No more chances. The clear blue skies of Southern California turned blood red today when a squadron of F-16 fighter jets intercepted a small commercial airliner that accidentally strayed within five miles of Air Force One. The President and First Lady were on their way to the Palm Springs Celebrity Golf Tournament. Fortunately, the security incident did not delay their scheduled appearance before enthusiastic crowds at the annual event. On a more disturbing note, teenage youths armed with grenade launchers struck again on the streets of Los Angeles last night. One innocent motorist was killed, his wife and three children injured. Rival gangs say police are fighting for control of the downtown area's few remaining parking spaces. Mary? And United Today denied reports of setbacks in their search for a plague cure. A spokesman for the governing corporation said that 89Z, the latest experimental drug, holds definite promise for future research. The company points out that fewer than half the volunteer patients have actually died from their initial doses. Although surviving patients are said to be experiencing certain side effects, Unitas wants to assure the public that further tests are being undertaken on an accelerated basis. All of us at Unitas are proud of our scientists, still working night and day to end the tragic epidemic, now in its tenth year.
first, a little gasoline. Oh, darling Cupid, it's only gasoline. It's only, it's only, here it is, darling gasoline. Ooh. Oh, don't forget, oh, 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 Cupid. Excuse me, can I have one of these? But wait, there's more! <sighs> the torch! The torch! Dear, dear Cupid, darling. The torch. Just a little color. What are they doing? Oh, burning now. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh dear Cupid. I'm right under his arms now. <gasps> one hand, Cupid, one hand. Ah, here we go, Cupid. We're almost finished. We're down by your hand. Do you think you ought to drink so much? Only. Smoking now.
Luger. Luger? Hey, what are you doing? Get away. This is ridiculous. Wait for me in the car. Hey, there's a girl. Get out. I just saw her. She's sitting outside the car. Layla, I want you to open the door. Oh, <laughs> 
How you doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Are they there? I think so. You okay? Sure. Thank you. 
You gotta know. What's that? It's about my pills, okay? No, 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 listen to me. No, Demo, you listen to me about my pills. They work. United has found a cure. They found it five years ago. There's something about patent problems, litigation, lawyers. It's just lawyers, brother. You're telling me for five years there's been a cure, and for five goddamn years people have been dying? Absolutely. That's bullshit. I've never lied to you, Luger. over, Decker. There's a cure.
better get Chaz to the hospital. What about you? A little help here? All right, bud. Chad, you done good. Thanks, Lou. Take care of yourself. Absolutely. You think you can just walk right in there? It's not that easy. Well, neither were you. And finally, police officials today identified a man who somehow managed to escape from maximum security custody last night. John Luger was arrested last week following his theft of highly classified files from the United Institute for Plague Research. Upon his capture, Luger told authorities that he had already leaked information from the files to several as yet unnamed local journalists. He claims the secret documents contain a safe and effective cure for the plague. The Institute has dismissed his charges as preposterous. Meanwhile, officials continue their search for the stolen files and the escaped zero man. We'll have more on this story as it develops. Thank you ever so much for watching another fine late night feature. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. Right, Lightning? Oh, sure, Lightning enjoyed showing it to you, too. <laughs> and uh, that's it for Pop Culture 201. I'm Professor Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that in the words of Confucius, man who lives in glass house should change in basement. Did you guys hear the one about the guy who goes to a bar and he gets really drunk?
I mean, really, really, really drunk. And when the bar closes, he gets up to go home. And as he's stumbling out the door, this nun is walking down the sidewalk. So the guy lurches over to the nun, and he punches her in the face. And the nun's really surprised, but before she can do or say anything, he punches her again. And this time she falls down. So the guy stumbles over to her, he kicks the nun in the stomach. And then he picks her up and he throws her into a wall. By this time the nun's weak and she can't move very much, so the guy finally leans over and he puts his face right up next to hers and he says, Not very strong tonight, are you, Batman? <laughs> Joe Bob Briggs reminding you that the drive-in will never die. Two Polish nuns. <laughs> it's already a good joke, isn't it? Two Polish nuns have just arrived in America by boat. So one nun says to the other, I hear the people of this country actually eat dogs. And the other nun says, well, that's odd, but if we shall live in America, we might as well do as the Americans do. So the mother superior nods and she points to this hot dog vendor. And they walk over to the cart and they order two dogs. The vendor wraps the hot dogs and hands them over the counter. The nuns are all excited and they hurry over to a bench to eat them. Mother Superior is the first to open hers and she stares at it for a second. And then she starts to blush and she leans over to the other nun and she whispers quietly, uh, what part did you get? <laughs>